Why, hello there, and welcome back to Miss Valley Entertainment News. My name is Dredd. Hopefully everything's okay. Uh, last video I put out, we had really, really terrible uh, issues with the camera. It we went really fuzzy as was press record. I'm looking. Everything seems fine right now. Uh, you may see some glitchiness down here. It's because it is daytime when I'm recording this. Usually it's nighttime, and I have to have all my lights on. I don't have all my lights on. I don't feel like getting up to do it. I just want to get through this quickly. And make this video so uh ignore the little glitches down here just ignore those they built you don't see them all right so we're going to take a look at a legal view this is legal mindset we're reacting to this video that he has called sony scams hell divers two players massive change this video will be linked down below won't it trent very well all right very good um what else can i tell you uh, i don't know i i have already watched this video it was very informative um, this is from a legal viewpoint, although if you go check out Legal Mindset, he does say don't don't take this as being a you know lawyer client privilege or anything else. Get your own legal viewpoint from actual legal people if you need to. However, they're approaching this uh, from a legal viewpoint, kind of looking at the legality of things and all of this. Uh, very good information here if you're at all interested in the Hell Divers drama, and if you're a gamer. You should have some interest in this because it does affect all of gaming. So be aware. All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna drop a like on this because I already watched it and I like it. Um, let's go and start here with the Hell Divers thing. Okay, so here it is, Hell Divers. Here's the big update. Here it is. This is from Hell Divers Two. This is from their official Hell Divers Two Twitter. So this is not made up. This is real. Hell Divers. An important message from our partner PlayStation about account linking. No, it's not from PlayStation. It's your official message. Oops. So this post by Hell Divers 2, it starts out with a lie. This is an important message from our partner PlayStation. No, this is not a, a direct quote from PlayStation you posted. This is your own. Helldivers 2 account linking update from Helldivers 2. On your Helldivers 2 post, this is not from PlayStation. This is you talking about what PlayStation is doing on your own message. I don't know who writes this stuff for them, but if they can't get that right, they're incompetent. And uh, if they put that up on purpose, then they flat out lied. They lied. I know there's a lot of people who are supporting the Helldivers team. Look, you could support the people who make the game, the people who design the game, the people who put the assets into the game, the people who write the scripts for the game, the developers. You could go ahead and support them. But as a whole, Arrowhead Games Studios is complicit in this. Do not try to tell me they're not. They are. Steam is also partially complicit in this, okay? Partially. Um, a little bit less, but they are not perfect in this either. And obviously, Sony is doing what Sony does. But yeah, that that, as pointed out by our legal our legal expert <laughs> here on legal mindset, that is a lie. That is not what follows is not an important message from our partner PlayStation. This is an important message from the official Hell Divers Two account. Please note, they start out by lying to you. Just, just note that. Not made up. This is real. Hell divers. An important message from our partner PlayStation about account linking. No, it's not from PlayStation. It's your official message. So, here's the thing, and here's the problem, is that Sony was the publisher of Hell Divers, so they have a lot of contractual control over Hell Divers. Absolutely. Hell Divers was amazing because it didn't have the politics. It didn't have the bullshit. Well, it does have politics. Hashtag managed democracy, right? And everybody was loving Hell Divers. But now, here's what's going on. Mm -hmm. Due to technical issues, so they're calling it now technical issues, right? Can you smell At the, the bullshit? the launch of Hell Divers 2... We allowed the linking requirement for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. The grace 
but never told anybody that. Until now. People, keep your eyes and your ears open. Discern what's going on, please. Period will now expire. See below in the post for details. So they gave almost no warning of this. Account linking plays a pivotal role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studios games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players and engage in that type of behavior. First of all, what is griefing and abuse? Who decides what it is? I, I'm not for harassing anybody online. I'm not. I don't, I don't agree with that. But who decides what's harassment and what's not? Who decides what's griefing? Who decides what's abuse? In this case, Sony does. Let me ask you, people who are familiar with Sony, how have they done? How have they done at that? How do you enjoy their band system? Because from what I've heard, it's been a disaster. People are not happy with it. Somewhere along the way, Sony and PlayStation here have decided, look at all those people enjoying Helldivers 2. Man, would we ever like to ban a whole bunch of them? Those rednecks, those ingrates, those people who would actually enjoy democracy and don't understand that this game is not pro-democracy, it's making fun of democracy, they don't understand that. We need to ban them. By the way, if you don't understand that the game is satire, you want to go back to and think about the developers of this game and the writers of this game because you're like, yeah, we're all bored. This is cool. It's just fun. It's it's like it's like Starship Troopers movies and videos. Yeah. Sure, it is on the surface, but understand that this was written to make fun of democracy and make fun of America. And I'm not even American. I will tell you, as a Canadian, we enjoy making fun of Americans, although we do appreciate Americas, too. Americans are our, like our older brother. Many people who uh, came and founded Canada were Americans to begin with. Um, but we do, you know, we, we have a, a, a camaraderie that uh, kind of goes, um, that we'll make fun of you a little bit. Maybe because we're a little bit insecure. America is bigger and more important than Canada, Canada is. Canada is bigger as far as land mass, but... Um, so we, we enjoy making fun of Americans, but I'm just telling you, this is making fun of, of Americans, it's making fun of democracy, and it's pointing it out like, hey, th this is wrong, but we're gonna, just gonna we're gonna make it real over the top. So you can get the idea. And they're they're mad that people aren't getting the idea. They're mad that people are just enjoying it. They're looking for, they're looking for people to ban. Sony is looking for people to ban. Okay. Again, I'm going to go back to technical issues at the launch where we required the linking requirements, where we allowed the linking requirements to be temporarily optional, and that grace period will now expire. We never, ever told anybody that those linking requirements were, were, were being you know pushed aside for a bit and that they were then going to be implemented later. We just never told anybody that. Never. Truth of the matter is, once they saw the amount of people who were playing the game, and once they realized they wanted to ban a whole bunch of them, and they couldn't, well, they certainly can once you sign up for the PlayStation account. That is complete bullshit. That is complete bullshit. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. What are you talking about? As they can do that through the existing procedures. This is crap. This is a lie. It's a lie. As it's a lie. of May 6th, all new Helldivers on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. As of May 6th, current players on Steam will see the mandatory login from May 30th and be required to uh, have a linked Steam and PSN network by June 4th. I feel bad for those who've been playing this game and enjoying it and are now having to go... I either have to sign up for this account and link it and give all my information to Sony and to abide by Sony's terms of service, even though I maybe don't even have a PlayStation, certainly don't have the account, maybe. 
I feel bad for those people. And they're like, my choices are giving up this game I love that I've been loved for the last three months or doing this that I don't want to do. And unfortunately, a lot of those people, and I'm, I can't blame them, but a lot of these people are going to buckle and they're going to sign up for the account and they're going to regret it later. And it's sad. It's, it's, it's actually, it's a really sad situation that doesn't need to be. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up using this link. We understand this. While this may be an inconvenience to some of you, this step will help us continue to build a community that you're all proud to be part of. Many thanks for your continued support of Helldivers 2. This, ladies and gentlemen, is complete bullshit. Yep. Thank you. It is a... Now, can they do it? Sure. Technically, as the publisher, they can try to do this. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. At this point, the game has been out for a long time. The game has been out for a very long time. Hmm. And they are now presenting a requirement to play the game. You will not be able to play the game unless you connect to their network, which, once again, as a PC player, so I'm imagining that you are a PC player, a Steam player on your PC, right? you are required to connect to something that you may not even own or yeah. want to link. Also, Crazy. they can ban your Steam account for something that they perceive as naughty. Because remember, Sony is super big into censorship. You know what they're doing with Stellar Blade right now? Thank you. They, what they want to do, their goal here, we're going to get to this, is to permanently ban people. Permanently ban people did you understand that their goal is to permanently ban people they enacted the linking requirements now because they see a whole bunch of people that they want to be under the umbrella of their terms of service so they can easily ban you that's the sole purpose this is the sole purpose of this scam they're running. It's to ban you. Wake up, people. Based on their biometrics. So what they want to do is they want to get your uh, logins and ultimately get your biometrics, right? And okay. when they say biometrics, what do they mean? Biometrics. Wikipedia. Body measurements and calculations re related to human characteristics. It's a form of identification and access control, also used to identify individuals in groups that are under surveillance. Biometric identifiers are the distinct measurable characteristics used to label and describe individuals, often characterized as physiological characteristics related to the shape of the body, not included but not, uh, are included but not limited to fingerprint. Uh, palm veins, face recognition, DNA, palm print, hand geometry, iris recognition, retina, odor, scent, voice, shape of ears, and gait. Behavioral characteristics related to the pattern of behavior of a person, including but not limited to mouse movement, typing rhythm, gait, signature, behavioral profiling, and voice, blah, blah, blah. Uh, also, driver's license, a passport, and passwords, personal identification numbers. Are we understanding yet, people? Are you understanding yet? They want your deets. Sony wants your details as a playing Helldiver, playing and paying, because you paid for the game, Helldivers 2 member, right? You are a player on Helldivers 2. You're enjoying the game. Sony's looking at you and they're like, we want to ban people like you. You know, we want to ban people with blue eyes. I don't know. We want to ban people who have long fingers. We want to ban people who have nose like yours. We want to ban people whose voice inflections are like yours. We want to ban people who say the things you say, have the, your skin color, or, um, you know, uh, are, are your uh, race or sex or height or weight. 
We want to get your login information, your PIN numbers, what your voice sounds like, what you look like, and make sure to ban the shit out of you. Oh, oh, also, by the way, because Sony has so many leaks of information, we will leak. Thank you for the money for that leak. Uh, we will leak that information to others so they can know you're a bad person. Maybe they can ban you too, or they can send you all kinds of spam and junk. No offense to people who, who enjoy PlayStation and Sony. Okay, No offense meant, but I'm just going to speak bluntly. At times like this, I'm glad I don't own a PlayStation. I will also say, before you Xbox fanboys jump up and down and go, yay, I'm also glad I don't own an Xbox. Quite happy with a PC. I don't, uh, I don't hate anybody who uh, owns a Sony. I don't hate anybody who uh, goes with Microsoft and Xbox. I, I don't. Um, sometimes I hate the, uh, the friction between the two groups. All right. But uh, I, I, don't, I don't hate anybody there. But I'm just glad I, I'm not part of these groups right now because. And, and, I, and it's hard enough on PC. I mean, there, there, there are companies here that work with PC and Steam and everything else that are trying to control as well. But you see the control Sony is trying to have. And this is a reaction to the, you know, 1 million or so people or whatever it is that bought their game, or many people it is, I haven't looked up the numbers, I don't know, who have bought this game and that they're looking at and they're like, we want to ban you. We, we want to ban a whole bunch of you. We can't do it under the terms of service of the Steam. We can't do it. But if they come over and sign up for Sony, then we can ban them. Hi, welcome to Sony, your lifetime band, because you're an a-hole, or we say you're an a-hole. Oh, you want to dispute that? Go ahead. Yeah, no, we're going to go with our own decision, our first decision. No, you're still lifetime band. Bye-bye. Is that what you want? Because that's what you're getting. Ban you permanently as a person. They're, that's what they're moving towards. Now, this is a step in that direction. Mm -hmm. right first step well so they're trying to hold first, you but... hostage to make you behave behave how the way they want you to and it's very interesting and this is potentially control. fraudulent all about and control. deceptive in terms of a deceptive business practice because it is very clear that they changed their procedures based on this new hell divers update yep and this is something that was sent to me so here's the instructions on how to unlink a playstation network on pc game right so go to the main menu of playstation game on pc and select the option to unlink your game so do i have to sign in to a psn to play playstation game on pc Signing in to PSN is optional when playing a PlayStation game on PC. This is before May 3rd. Look what happened. Do I have to sign in to PSN to play a PlayStation game? Some PlayStation games may require you to sign in and link an account for PSN. So there are some games. Which games? The games that people play. Uh, sorry, the games that have people playing that we don't like, like a bunch of you people on Helldivers 2. Bunch of you freedom-loving patriots who are actually freedom-loving patriots because we fucking hate that because we're Sony, so we're going to ban you. So am I giving the worst-case scenario? Absolutely I am. Absolutely. But if you're closing your eyes and just saying, well, Dread, you're giving the worst-case scenario, and that's ridiculous. And that's all you see? Bye-bye. Have fun towing the line for the rest of your life. Bye bye. Hell, I'm not even I'm not even American. I'm not a patriot for America. I don't care. I don't care what goes on in America. Well, no, I do care what goes on in America. I care what goes on everywhere in the world to some degree. Because we're all people. But I care about what goes on in Canada. My country's gone to shit. But I'm telling you, I'm seeing it in my country and I'm seeing it in America and I've seen it all over the world and I'm seeing it in businesses like this. Who are basically getting involved in politics is what they're doing. 
and they are trying to control the population and make a population of people do what they say. And if you can't see that, I cannot help you. But if you can see that, please do not shut your eyes and turn away. Because ignoring it will just make this get worse for everyone. Changing their policy for this. This was a rug pull. This was deceptive. Yep. And to me, the appropriate response here is to request a refund and leave a negative review yep the most important thing is probably a negative review right now true i agree the most important thing probably is the negative review that's probably the most important thing you can do other than getting a lawyer you got enough money to sue sony but the requesting the refund is also important, but that's the step that probably most Helldiver 2 players will not take. If you're in a place where you can still play this game, by the time it's mandatory that current players have that account, most and I say most, like, I don't know a percentage, but I'm saying most. Most Helldiver 2 players who are still enjoying this game will probably make that call and go ahead and sign up for the damn account grudgingly. And I hate to say this about a game that is good. It's a good game. Like, I haven't played it, but I understand it's a good game. You need to get out of it. You need to walk away. There'll be other games. You need to walk away. You need to walk away from the trash that's being shoved down your throat. Not the game itself, but the politics embedded with the game. You need to walk away from it. You need to walk away from it. Because if you don't learn how to do that now, you won't do it in the future either. And that control is going to tighten on you until you've got no freedom left, basically, in life. But yeah, sure, leaving the uh, the negative review is very important. But so is walking away from this. This is a dumpster fire. Because they can hide, they can hide the refunds. Nobody sees how many people are, are requesting a refund. It's kind of hard to track that. But the reviews, they can't. You need to put a negative review. You can switch your positive review to a negative review. Put a negative review for this. Specifically mention the linking requirement. And that will actually hit them where it counts because that's going to be seen by everybody. People say sure. they've already rejected the refund request. Don't worry, just put it in. Because if enough people do it, there may be a class action over this. Possibly. A class action. That's and you'll scenario. see emails going out saying, are you playing Helldivers 2? If you are, get involved in this class action over this rug pull because they are requiring you, you already paid for the game, and they're requiring you to do this, and this is a reason you could sue Sony, and there could be a class action against Sony. Right? People say arbitration. Nah, probably going to get past this, especially in certain jurisdictions, right? Because once again, you can't stop that. Now, I know a lot of the companies are trying to stop class actions. It doesn't work like that. I just want to point out again for those of you who are saying, but it's not Arrowhead Game Studios' fault. It's Sony's fault. I want to remind you that these two are intrinsically linked. Intri intrinsically? Intricately? I don't know. Whatever that word is. They're linked. Right? Like, like the marriage bed, dude. They're linked. Um, <laughs> go take a look at what the community uh, managers who are in charge of speaking to the public for Arrowhead Game Studios. Take a look at what those people have been saying uh, to the players. Take a good look at the three people in charge of their as community managers. Take a good look. These are not people who would like gamers. These are people who hate gamers. 
These are people who are towing the company line for Sony. So there is no way that Arrowhead Game Studios, and I'm not talking about the game developers. I'm not talking about the people who wrote the wrote the code for the game or placed the assets in the game. I'm not talking about the game developers, but I'm talking about the company, Arrowhead Game Studios. They damn well knew what they were getting involved in. They got into bed with Sony, and they've got the venereal disease of all venereal diseases. Don't doubt it, because they never would have hired those assholes as community managers who treat people like absolute shit if they weren't the same as Sony is. There's no way that company hires those people if that's not the prevailing thought of the company. Gamers are idiots. Gamers are assholes. We don't fucking like gamers. Guarantee it. Because you don't hire people to speak for you who think that otherwise. So drop the shit. If you wanted to support the devs, the people who actually made the game, by all means, go ahead. They made a good game. I, I can't disagree with you on that one. But outside of those, the rest of Arrowhead Game Studios and all of Sony, absolute garbage. Doesn't work like that. So this is a real big one. I, and I like, by the way, big shout out to Rock Solid. Someone tagged me in this one. Uh, this is a really good one. Uh, Hell Divers 2 has a great reputation and a massive player base. Sony makes the devs roll out an update that will require everyone to have a PlayStation Network account connected. The only previous mention of this is in a small box on stream. Over 60 countries cannot Steam, make a stream. PlayStation account. They're banned from making PlayStation accounts. Some countries require a government ID to make one. EULA never directly mentions a PlayStation out, um, network. So the, the, the contract, your contract yeah. does not mention that. PlayStation silently changes their policy in regards to PSN. PlayStation is infamous for data breaches and spam emails. Yes. They want your data. And this is the thing. So they give it to you everybody. You guys are saying it in the chat. You're like, I don't want to be part of the 2024 or 20. They can, they can then give your data, your biometrics data to everybody. And they're going to flag you on there as some kind of bad person. Everybody can know. Sony says you're a bad person. They put pressure on everybody else to treat you like a bad person. Maybe they'll sell your uh, info information to the government. We all know the government is interested in getting information on gamers and people online, uh, online gaming, and, and and everything else. They're they're interested in taking your information and watching you to see if you're some kind of infidel some kind of terrorist some kind of whatever oh no you're anti-government we need to keep an eye on you in case you go on a shooting spree or i i don't i don't know so we want to illegally spy on you we're going to start by getting your biometric data hey sony will you help with that hey we've got a bunch of people playing hell divers too who are absolutely the worst of all human beings they have to be they like this game Therefore, yes, we'll make them sign up for our terms of service and we'll give you their biometric data and then we'll ban them and then you can like, you can follow them all over the internet and everything else. There you go. Again, am I looking at the worst case scenario? Yes. You have to be aware of what the possibilities are before you step foot into something. If you don't know what's under the water before you step into the water, you're an idiot. Don't do it. 25 data breach. They have data breaches every 10 minutes. And that's a valid reason to not want to give them your data. Helldivers community manager downplays the entire situation and describes it as just a two minute process. You know what else, guys? You know what else is a two minute process? Hitting fun getting fucked and this is sony fucking over every single hell divers player i need i need i need to play that again i'm sorry getting fucked yeah 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 
You know what else is a two minute process? Mm-hmm. What, what? Getting fucked. Oh. Getting fucked. Oh. And this is Sony fucking over every single Helldivers player. And we should not be surprised. Maybe just a two minute process. That's a two minute process where somebody has your information and is stealing your identity for the rest of your natural born life. Thank you. <laughs> Some people are like, wow, that's quick. Yeah, they want to, uh, they want your info, people. They they want your biometrics info, and they are going to share it through leaks or just through playing out selling it or just playing it out giving it. And we already know, we've already heard this leak. The governments are looking at gamers to find out who's against the government in gaming. Got your... Your pro democracy, your ha 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 pro democracy, you know, Helldivers 2 game. Well, that's the perfect place to find a list of those people, isn't it? Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Show me where I'm wrong in those statements. You're going to be like, Dread, that doesn't mean that's going to happen. No, it doesn't mean that's going to happen, but it means it's a real possibility that it could happen and it lines up and makes sense. Are you willing to take that risk? Are you willing to have the government have your information and have you labeled as some kind of bad person for your views on government based on your gaming habits? Are you willing for that? Most of these people are not bad people. Most of them are not planning up shooting up towns or uh, uh, rushing the, the White House or the Parliament or wherever you may be. We're not planning on taking politicians hostage. Most of us just dis, uh, disagree with governments who take more of our freedoms away. And instead of governments taking less of your freedom, they've gotten in bed with these woke companies who will support them, and they're all working on clamping down in even more of your freedoms instead. The thought police are coming, people. Soon your crimes will be what you think. What you say? What you think? We had we had to put him in jail to stop what he was going to do. We knew because he was playing Hell Divers too that he was a bad person. It's ridiculous, <coughs> but this is the way things are actually going. Listen, we got business to do here, guys. People run defense for Sony, downplaying the situation as just PC players seething and overreacting for no reason. Classic Sony. Video game publishers coming up with the worst decisions known to man when they see a game that's actually good. Uh, You know what? Yeah. This is true. This is true. Same thing with Stellar Blade. Why you got to go fuck it up, bro? Yeah. Because these people are insane. Thank you. They are because these people are crazy. Mentally ill. Right. These people are absolutely nuts. These are people who believe they're better than everybody else and think everybody else needs to do what they say and they're going to force people to do it for the good of humanity, so they say. Really only for their own good. Mentally ill people wandering around the streets trying to pass themselves off as legit people. They're in business. They're in politics. They're everywhere. So, yeah, that's what's going on with Helldivers. Now, here's the community manager post. Some of you may have not have seen this. Here's a community manager post. Uh, thank you, Permaband. So let me give Permaband a follow for this. Someone share with me this conversation. This is in response to all this, right? Oh, yeah, here's a good clip. Here's a good clip here. Uh, everyone, uh, thank God Helldivers 2 is the first game in years. It's fun, focus, and complete knock dog shit. <laughs> Sony. Um, so CM community manager seems to imply that devs want the PSN linking because it would be easier to ban people. While a dev on Discord claims they didn't want it, but Sony forced them to it. So Misty says, "Hey, this isn't true due to the over." Misty is one of the three community managers. If you didn't know, for Helldivers two, 
overwhelming amount of people trying to link their accounts, the whole login process broke and people couldn't get into it. Mandatory account linking was disabled for 20 to 30 minutes after it launched to let people play the game. Oh, so so many people were trying to get into accounts, into their accounts that they, that's when they decided you didn't need to link your PlayStation account. And then they just happened to leave that off for the next 90 days. Oh, so somebody lied again. Um, and yet people still couldn't get in. It's a process to force people into an ecosystem where they don't want to because Sony thinks it'll make people pay for their products. And so the community manager says it herself. She says, no, it's allow us to ban people. That is the sole reason. Understand. She speaks for the Hell Divers 2 team. She speaks for Arrowhead Games she says the whole reason to link your game to a PlayStation account is to allow the mods, the moderators, the community managers, whoever, the people, to ban people. That is the sole reason they're asking you to link your account so they can ban people. That is the sole reason. That's what I've been saying, so, people. They're not even trying to hide the flat the ball anymore. They're just like, yep. So you couldn't ban people before. That's a lie. We could, but it increases the effectiveness of what we can do. So what they're trying to get is they're trying to ban people across platforms, cross-platform ban, and like just completely eat you. Cross-platform ban. They're going to ban PC players because they made you sign up for Sony Terms of Service. They're going to ban you cross-platform. Are you hearing this? Sorry for spamming you. I really appreciate the work you're doing here. But what do you mean with more effectiveness? I'm just open-minding here, so no judgment. There are certain legal requirements we have to follow to ban people. This will help us out with that. Also, dealing with support tickets all day. Unfortunately, a lot of people encounter cheaters and harassment. This will help us tackle that problem. I don't know about that. Yeah. Everybody, that's it for Miss Valley Entertainment News. My name is Dred. Drop down below. Let me know what you think. I've told you enough so about Hell what Divers I think. Is so let me know what you think, everybody. We'll see you next time.